Uh oh, it's happening. I can feel the alcohol in my body. Hi guys. Hey guys. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to test our trivia skills. A Christmas movie and TV challenge. 100 quiz questions, so we're gonna go 10 questions each. See who gets them right, who gets them wrong, who does the best. 10 questions, 10 answers, one winner. And if you get it wrong, you have to take a shot. It seemed Christmas to have some peppermint schnapps, so. We were gonna do tequila, but then we got a little worried that things would get a little bit crazy after, you know, two questions. So, bring on the questions. See who gets it right at the end to be the ultimate Christmas TV and movie champion. Bring it. Bring it. All right, question one. Hulk Hogan starred in a Christmas film named A, Merrily Wrestling All the Way, B, A Headlock with Christmas Carol, C, Santa with Muscles. Didn't even know Hulk Hogan was in a movie, but I am going to say C. Are you serious? Correct, Santa <laughs> with Muscles. I totally just guessed it because it sounded like the dumbest answer. Yes, one for one. Number two. Who tells us the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer <sighs> in the 1964 animated adventure? It's not even multiple choice? No. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't even know what name to pick. Sam the Snowman. Oh, like you mean the character? Yeah. That told, I thought they wanted the actor's voice. All right, fine. I'll do a peppermint schnapp. Ooh, I just got like shivers. Oh, that's actually really good. Number three. It's Christmas 1919 and Bates has been arrested. Which TV show is it? Not a multiple choice again? Like, what was the year? It's Christmas 1919 and Bates has been arrested. Which TV show is it? I wasn't even born in 1919. Which TV show it's it was? Not. The show was set in 1919. Uh, the, the one, Scrooge. Downton Abbey. How is that Christmas? Yeah. Christmas episode of Downton Abbey. Those cards are tricky. It says Christmas in TV movies. Oh gosh. Cheers. Number four. Who starred in Stanley Kubrick's Christmas film, Eyes Wide Shut? Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, Tom Cruise and Sharon Stone, Nicole Kidman and Brad Pitt. A. Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. I haven't even seen that movie, correct, but I knew it. Sir. You are correct. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie, but I knew it. Question five. In the 1940s, a boy named Ralphie attempts to convince everyone that a Red Ryder BB gun really is the perfect Christmas gift. Gift. Which film is this from? A Christmas Story. <laughs> My mom would be so proud. Numero six. Which famous story written by Dr. Seuss was adapted into a popular Christmas movie? A. It's a Wonderful Life. B. The Snowman. C. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. That would be How the Grinch Stole Christmas. <laughs> Number seven. What is the first gift of Christmas according to the Polar Express? A, a ribbon from Santa's sleigh. B, a bell from Santa's sleigh. C, a toy from Santa's sleigh. Ooh, that's tricky. I've never seen a Polar Express. I don't know. I feel like C is too obvious. I don't know. I don't even remember what A and B were, so I'm just gonna say A. B, a bell oh. from Santa's sleigh. Number eight. Uh, directed by Tim Burton, the movie a Night The Nightmare Before Christmas was adapted from what? <clears throat> a, a poem, B, a play, C, a game. Oh, I think it would be a poem. That's right, a, a, a poem. Did you inflect that on purpose? Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'm like, it makes more sense that it was. Number nine. Which actor plays Bad Santa in 2003? Oh no, I know that guy. It's A, the... Billy Bob Thornton. B, Michael Keaton. 
C. Steven Seagal. Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah! All right. Number 10, last one. How many do I have right so far? Six. Six out of nine so far. Who starred in the 1996 film Jingle All the Way? Was it A. Sylvester Stallone, B. Arnold Schwarzenegger, or C. Jackie Chan? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Bing, 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 bing. Yes, I got seven out of ten. That was pretty good. I thought it was gonna be crap. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Let's see how good you guys can do, Steve and Eric. I challenge you to beat me. Question number one. Who played Scrooge in The Muppet Christmas Carol? Michael Caine, Bob Hoskins, or Bruce Willis? I am 95% sure that it, that was Mr. Michael Caine. Correct. Ooh. I wasn't sure for a second. I'm like, oh, I haven't seen that movie in years. Question number two. What is the name of the film where a boy who has a bad Christmas ends up accidentally summoning a festive demon to his family home? Santa Claus, Krampus, or Dark Santa? I have never seen it, but I'm thinking, because I know who it is, I'm guessing it's Krampus. <laughs> Dodge the ball on that one. I gotta see that movie. Is it any good? Let us know in the comments. Question number three. In which movie does the song White Christmas first appear? A, Holiday Inn, B, Premier Inn, C, Festive Inn, D, Christmas Inn. I have no clue. I was gonna say White Christmas, but that wasn't one of the options, and that seemed like some sort of weird trick question. So let's go with, do a little abacadabra. Start with A. Shut up, you got it right. Yes. <laughs> Really? Yeah. I just assumed it was a Bing Crosby movie. Maybe it was a Bing Crosby movie. I don't know. Question number four. What was the name of the 1960s film where a group of inept green Martians kidnap Santa? A. Santa and the Martians. B. Santa Claus conquers the Martian. Or C. Martians need Santa too. I have no idea, so I'm going to go with good old A again. <laughs> It was B, Santa Claus Conquers the Martian. Oh, huh. I have never ever heard of that movie, but uh, now I'll never forget it, I guess. Merry Christmas. That's pepperminty. Oh, <coughs> really drinking scope. <coughs> okay, question number five. A thief posing as an actor is brought to Los Angeles for an unlikely audition and finds himself in the middle of a murder investigation. What is the name of the film? I have zero clue, so I'm gonna say the name of the clue is Steve does a shot of peppermint schnapps. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Is, is that a Christmas movie? Was Robert Downey Jr. in that or something? Or You know what, guys? I'm gonna mix this up a bit and get some peppermint schnapps. Ah, little creme de cacao. Let's make this thing a after eight. Give it a little chocolatey flavor. Cheers. Oh, tastes better. <laughs> okay, question number six. <clears throat> Which 2004 popular cartoon series Christmas special was titled Woodland Christmas Critters? A. The Simpsons, B. South Park, C. Family Guy. I honestly have no clue. I'm gonna say C. Family Guy. And B. South Park. <gasps> Question number seven. What is Scrooge's first name? Edward, Ebenezer, Edgar. Thankfully I know this one and it's Ebenezer. Correct. I needed that. I needed that. We're back in, baby. We're back in. All right, number eight. Two men broke into a house and had a lot of trouble in which movie? A, Christmas Trouble. B, Home Alone. C, Two Men in a Santa Suit. 
I would like to see two men in a Santa suit, but that was definitely home alone. Correct. Check out our Instagram page at Where the Trips, and you can see we went as Marv, Harry, and little Kevin for Christmas. Go check us out on Instagram at Where the Trips. For Halloween. For Halloween. What did I say? This is for Christmas. Oh, for Christmas. For Halloween. It's the alcohol talking, people. It's the alcohol. I haven't had dinner yet. What am I doing? Question number nine. The rabbit in the magic hat in Frosty the Snowman is named Scott Farkas, Hocus Pocus, Rabbit Claws. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with Hocus Pocus, but I have no clue. How the, you have the best guessing skills. Well, that ever. one, the other one seemed too made up to be like. Scott Farkas? Scott Farkas is, <laughs> who would name that a rabbit in the kids? I mean, it sounds. Scott Farkas is the bad guy in a Christmas story. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Number... That was very dramatic. <laughs> Who starred in Babes in Toyland? Oh, More Camby and Wise, Laurel and Hardy, Groucho Marx. I have no clue, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna say Groucho Marx. Yeah, Laurel and Hardy. Uh, Laurel and Hardy, I should have known. I should have watched that movie. All right, one more for the road. Well, I think I lost. Did I lose? Yeah, this is your fourth. I only did three. Oh, I lost. Happy New Year. Question one. Which Christmas classic is about Bishop Henry Braham having trouble to fund a new cathedral? A. The Christmas Cathedral. B. A cathedral is not just for Christmas. Or C. The Bishop's Wife. The Bishop's Wife. Wow, you were right. You said that with confidence. <laughs> Those two were too stupid to be the right answer. Number two. In The Ice Harvest, a shady lawyer attempts a Christmas Eve crime, hoping to swindle the local mob out of some money. Who starred in the film? Kevin Spacey, John Cusack, Robert De Niro. I think it is Kevin Spacey. <laughs> John Cusack. John Cusack. Oh. Okay, so I got that one wrong. So here we come with a shot of peppermint schnapps. I saw Steve topped it off with some come to cacao, but I might copy him later. I'll copy him now. Oh, this is a full shot. All right, Merry Christmas. Ah, actually, not bad. Uh, question number three. Which actor plays Santa in Fred Claus? Paul Giamatti, Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. It's Paul Giamatti. And Fred Claus? Oh, Vince Vaughn's the brother of Santa. <laughs> Shit. Okay, well, here comes shot number two. Okay. This is you, not not going to a good start at you all. I totally thought you had that one, didn't you? I did. That's okay, I thought you did too. I was like, oh, it's a trick question. Ah, straight peppermint, gross. Okay. Number three? I'm just on three? Four? Number four. In Blackadder's Christmas Carol, which comedian played the spirit of Christmas? Anthony Hopkins, Brian Blessed, Robbie Coltrane. <sighs> I'm gonna say uh, Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> God damn. Who, who, a Blackadder? Robbie Coltrane. Who's Robbie Coltrane? I'm, I'm just gonna do y'all a favor and just leave this out here the whole time. Oh, that's shot number three. What question is this? This is a question five. In the 2004 animated feature, The Polar Express, what letters did the conductor punch into the main character Billy's Polar Express ticket when he punched it? Trust, learn, or believe? Believe. <laughs> Thank God, no more schnapps. Okay, six? Question six. What was the 2009 Christmas special of the hit children's film Madagascar called? Mary Madagascar, Madagascar Escape to the North Pole, 
A very, a very Madagascar Christmas. A very Madagascar Christmas. <laughs> I said Merry Madagascar. A very Madagascar Christmas. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> I think I lost already. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've lost already. And I'm not many, I'm not many questions in yet. Oh, I feel so gross. Has this stuff gone bad? Ah, okay. Question seven? Eight? Seven. Question seven, everyone. Question seven. <laughs> Which advertising-based TV series Christmas special was entitled Christmas Comes But Once a Year? Crazy Guys, Dopey Dolls, Mad Men. Mad Men? <laughs> okay, because I've never heard the other two. I'm like, what, are those even shows? Question number eight. Which family features in the 1989 movie National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? The Grizzlebottoms, the Griswolds, the Grizzlies. The Griswolds. Oh, thank God. Okay. A couple more. Question number nine. In the 1940 drama Remember the Night, what happens to Lee Leander? She gets divorced due to a Christmas argument. She has a baby for Christmas. She gets arrested for shoplifting. Has a baby for Christmas. And she gets arrested for shoplifting. What movie is this? Remember the night. I don't remember the movie. <laughs> Bottoms up. You can't let it sit in your mouth. <sighs> oh. Oh. I don't know if that stuff's good anymore. This is the last one, right? 10. Question 10. What was the moral of the Christmas movie, A Charlie Brown Christmas? A, Christmas is a family occasion. B. Christmas is a time for giving. C. Christmas has been over commercialized. Christmas has been over commercialized. <laughs> no more. No more garbage peppermint schnapps. That stuff's not good on its own. But how many did I get right? Five? Yeah. Five? I got five right. I don't think I beat anybody. I think I came in dead last. I feel like I came in dead last. Thanks, I love doing these challenges. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to our channel, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button down there below me. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Let us know you liked it. Hit that bell down below for notifications. Don't miss any future uploads. Uh, check out our last video right here. Click this uh, link down here. You can watch all of our videos, all of our great trip videos this holiday season. Bye! Bye. Bye.